The world is full of careless behavior. They are hasty towards things of which is just a selfish investment of selfish desire. But what will this bring to them? It may bring them temporary happiness of little joy, but as I said, temporary. Maybe you are not a part of the ones who are hasty towards the selfish investment, but maybe you are one of the ones who are in the pursuit of happiness, but may feel as if it is unachievable. Well, for those, the answer for that is, is definitely within reach. Let's take a look at Acts 20, verse 35. <clears throat> Here it says, I have exhibited to you in all things that thus by laboring you must assist those who are weak and must bear in mind the words of the Lord Jesus when he himself said, there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. <coughs> now what does Jesus' words mean? What must we give in order to receive happiness? Let us take Jesus for example. When you see Jesus preaching in the ministry or speaking with children about his great father Jehovah within the pictures of our publications, what is it that you see? You see the joy and happiness that it brings him. You see the smile on his face. But how did Jesus get to that position? See, what Jesus did was he made a personal decision to do God's will. It said right there at Hebrews 10 verse 7, it says, Look, I have come to do your will, O God. When he chose this, Jesus was willingly baptized. He dedicated, gave his life to Jehovah our God. And there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. Jesus gave his life to doing God's will, drawing him closer to God, bringing him happiness. Just as it has benefited Jesus, it can benefit us too. In order for it to benefit us, we must take the responsibility to show that we dedicate ourselves. Let us take marriage, for example. Treat your dedication as a marriage. What does a marriage need? A marriage requires commitment. When you are married, you are committed, giving time and putting effort into a relationship. <clears throat> when this is done, the couple share a meaningful relationship that brings happiness. The more we are committed to our dedication, giving it time, putting it effort, best said at James 4 verse 8, the more it draws us closer to Jehovah, our God, bringing us happiness. There is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. Back to our example who are those who have, you know, the aim of their own selfish desires. Why are they not truly happy? Well, it is because they're, it's temporary, correct? Well, unlike their happiness, we can enjoy the wonderful blessing of living on a paradise earth or living amongst the heavens with our dedication to God Jehovah. In order to get there, Let's take a look at 1 Peter 3, verse 21. Here it says, That which corresponds to this is also now saving you, namely, baptism. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the request made to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Did you see what it said? Namely, baptism, a dedication to Jehovah, the giving of yourself to do Jehovah's will, bringing him joy. What else is greater than bringing our Father joy? Thus, bringing us happiness. There is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. Brother Bates, thank you so much. You did a good job with that. Why make a personal dedication to God leads to happiness? <clears throat>